In this topic, we review the different methods of installing rotary kill bricks, advantages and disadvantages of each method. Part 2 This topic content 1. Preparatory work 2. Lining methods 3. Bricking procedure 4. Specific lining situations 5. Kill startup 6. Storage 7. Installation report Take great care to close every ring correctly. 1. Tighten bricks with hydraulic jack. Maximum jack pressure should not exceed 35 to 40 newton millimeter, one half brick cold crushing strength. During jacking knock bricks with rubber hammer. This is explained in these pictures. Two. Combine standard shapes and key bricks, to obtain a straight joint of 4 to 6 mm thickness. Never cut standard, or key shapes parallel to radial joint to fit the gap. This video explain, how key bricks, key shims. Be careful. Avoid V or V upturned shaped joints. Brickwork will always be loose, even after shimming. This figure shows, V or V upturned shaped. Three. Inserting the last brick. In case the brick combination is perfect without open joint, never knock with hammer onto the brick. Watch this figure. Four, staggered position of key bricks and key shims. Important recommendations required. Do not use more than two to three shims per rings. Recommended thickness two millimeter. Use pneumatic shim driver if available. Without shim driver, 3 mm thick shims are acceptable. Phased, beveled, shims greatly facilitate driving in. Drive in not more than one shim per joint. See figure. In these figure. What's wrong? Focus on the quality of the bricks. In these figure. What's wrong? In these figure. What's wrong? Five. After releasing the bricking rig, or screw jacks, rings must remain in contact with kill shell. This figure shows. Recommended. Pneumatic shim driver. This figure shows. But still widely used. Hammering in the key shims. New lining meets old lining. After breaking out the bricks, the old lining remaining in the kill, has to be fixed by angle irons welded onto the kill shell. Remove concretions on axial joint, of old lining, arrow, by grinding tools, not by hammer. Show this figures. Important notes. 1. Whenever possible do not cut the first ring, install cut bricks between full rings. 2. 
use long bricks L shapes, to fill gap of 200 to 300 mm. 3. With standard shape bricks, never use bricks less than 100 mm. 4. Compound lining enhances stability. Document position of cut rings. In these figure, what's wrong? Important notes. Do not cut magnesia bricks with water, wet magnesia bricks will probably hydrate during kill heat up. See these figure. Important notes. Reshim open radial joints in old brickwork, to avoid any risk of brick slip during kin heat up. Open axial joints in old brickwork. Fill gaps up to 60 mm, wide with ceramic blanket. If gap is more than 60 mm, remove adjacent ring and fill in cut long shapes. See these figure. Important notes. Preparing for kill heat up. After closing the last ring and removing the bricking rig, screw jacks, turn the kill at lowest speed by 180 degree and check the lining for open joints, sagged rings. If necessary, tighten rings with additional key shims. Compare theoretical and actual number shapes of installed bricks. Document deviations from theoretical number. In case of nose ring castables, follow drying instructions of supplier. 4. Specific lining situations. This part contains 1. Deformed kill shell. 2. Correcting rings in radial direction. 3. Partial repairs, patching. 4. Retaining rings. 5. Vates, Magato, Retaining Ring System, VMRRS. 6. Nose Ring. 7. Cone Sections. 1. Deformed Kill Shell. See Figure. Always a challenge for bricklayers. Level out deformed shell with mortar or castable. If necessary, cut bricks to fit best onto the kill shell. In this figure. Not recommended. To fill V, shaped joints with mortar or castable. Crushing strength of thin layers of mortar and castables, is much lower than strength of bricks. In this figure, it is shown. Bricks over welding seams. Never prepare bricks by chipping with hammer, if necessary, use a brick saw. Two. Correcting rings in radial direction. In this figure, use mortar or ceramic paper of maximum two millimeters thickness. Steel shims are not recommended. Removing of expansion cardboard is not recommended. In this figure, not recommended to remove cardboards. Three, partial repairs, patching. This video explain, how make partial repairs, patching.
for simplicity, two retaining rings, 50 to 50 millimeters, are recommended. In this figure, recommended. In this figure, accepted design. Use standard shapes if possible, avoid cutting. A 50 mm step in the outlet section usually does not obstruct clinker flow. 4. Retaining rings. In this figure, accepted. Cut bricks at the outlet side. Always cut basic bricks dry. In this figure, accepted. To avoid brick cutting and in case an existing retaining ring is not removed, it can be covered by castable. Insert plastic between brick and castable. The combination of retaining ring and castable, with metallic anchors, provides very high stability. Spiraling in front of the retaining ring, is made more difficult with a compound lining of standard bricks and 300 mm long bricks. Five cone section in this figure recommended special shapes to fit as tight as possible to the kill shell use as little mortar as possible in radial joint brickwork in cone section should not be compressed in this figure not recommended standard shapes plus mortar and cut bricks in the lower and upper end of cone Consult drawing for position of axial expansion joints. 5. Kill start up. Warming up curve. Includes. Burn out of cardboards. Reshimming in case of warm up interruptions. Shut down procedure. This figure, warming up curve. It shows the relationship between rotary kill temperatures and the number of hours burn out of cardboards burn out of cardboard between 200 to 800 degree is more rapid than thermal expansion of magnesia bricks so turn kill at lowest speed monitor temperature difference between tire and kill shell less than 160 degree and tire migration in case heating up has to be interrupted and kill must be cooled down, check lining stability before relighting the kill. If necessary, reshim loose sections of the lining. Reshimming in case of warm up interruptions. This figure shows. This may happen with a bad installation. This figure shows. This may happen, with a bad installation. Reshimming in case of warm up interruptions. In this figure. Would you call this correct reshimming? Shutdown procedure. 1. Shut down curve should follow heat up curve in the reverse sense. 2. Entering the kill before 24 hours after shut off will prove difficult, because of red hot coating firmly attached to lining. 3. Breaking down and emptying the coating during cool down, by turning the kill at highest speed is definitely, not recommended. 4. It may twist the lining crush the bricks at the retaining rings, and deform the outlet segments. 6. Storage. Includes. 1. General storage instructions. 2. Shelf life, basic bricks, aluminous bricks, mortar. 3. Hydration of magnesia bricks. 4. Wet bricks, wet lining sections 
check materials upon arrival for transport damages. Store refractory materials under roof in ventilated, dry rooms and protected against rain, splashing water, snow. From all sides. Under tropical conditions, open plastic shrink wrapping to avoid condensation of water within the pallet. Maximum shelf height. 1. Magnesia and alumina bricks, 4 pallets. 2. Lightweight, insulating bricks, 2 pallets. 3. Castables, gunning mixes, mortars, 2 pallets. Maximum shelf life. Fire clay and alumina bricks are not susceptible to hydration and can be stored indefinitely. Mortar should not be stored at customer's warehouse for more than 12 months. Magnesia bricks are susceptible to hydrate, especially under tropical conditions and when made from high purity, synthetic magnesia. Hydration of magnesia bricks. Radial cracks, arrows, in the figure are an unequivocal sign of hydration. Hydrated bricks cannot be used anymore. In this figure, when knocked with a steel hammer, hydrated bricks sound dull and break easily. In this figure, bricks with radial cracks have lost their mechanical strength and must be discarded. Wet bricks and wet lining sections. Magnesia bricks which have become wet must be stacked, openly and ventilated at ambient air temperatures, until dried completely. Do not use hot air, do not expose wet bricks to the heat radiated, from the kill shell. After drying, check bricks carefully for radial cracks. New lining sections which have become wet, must be removed and replaced by dry bricks. 7. Installation Report Highly Recommended 1. Basic Data, Start and Finish of Works, Rings and Brick Grades Installed, Position of Brick Grades, Lining Method 2. Theoretical versus Actual Mixing Ratio per Ring, Number of Key Shims per Ring 3. Remarks, E.G, Deformed Kill Sections cut sections 4 pictures 5 final inspection of the installation thank you for showing interest with family greetings everything about the cement industry i hope for your support by subscribing to the youtube channel